I'd like to welcome everybody to tonight's coverage of Pine Creek versus Fountain Fort Carson in 5A Wrestling in Colorado Springs. This is Greg from Nolan Studios, and I'll be commentating for you this evening. The reason we like to put these together for folks that were not able to attend to be able to see this. We are actually going to be starting off tonight with the JV match at 182 Taylor Clifton Looks like Taylor's going to have the first takedown if he can complete this. No. Nope. Definitely coming out more aggressive than the wrestler from Fountain Fort Carson. And the official calls that takedown out of bounds, so no points. And that one's going to score two points for Taylor. He still has a lost control, so there's not a skate point given or a reversal. And that right there, that will complete the two. So with 25 seconds remaining, 2-2 tie and the 182 bout. And nice, nice work to put the Fountain Fort Carson wrestler on his back right at the, be the end of that first period. Looks like the horn's not going to be working tonight, so the table signals the official that the round is complete. All right, so Taylor takes the down position, leading four to two in this second period. Oh, good idea there. Looked like he was high. Coming to you today, the 8th of December, or rather 8th of uh, January, 2014. Uh, Taylor looks like he gets a headlock during the scramble, but that's not going to last. So 6-4, to four, Taylor Clifton leading Fort Fountain Fort Carson in the 182-pound bout.
A little less than 30 seconds, and it looks like Taylor's making a move. See if he can get his head out and get control here. And the second period is going to end. Taylor Clifton up 6-4. to four. Taylor getting some wisdom from coach T.C. Danzler, former Olympian, and still quite a capable wrestler. Just missed the world team this last, in this last Olympics by just a little bit. So we're glad to have T.C. working with us at Pine Creek. So Taylor Clifton will take the up position starting this third period, ahead six to four. See if he can work this half on one side or the other here to Turn looks like he's going to try to get the chicken wing in. And let's see if he can work this all the way up to the wrestler's head. Uh, thought better of that. And they're called out of bounds, so we will restart in the third period with a minute two remaining. Taylor's still up six to four. And time just under five seconds to go. And that will score one point, so six to five. And Taylor rides it out at the end of the period to win six to five in the first decision of the night.